Where is Summer Wells? It's the latest thought raging on the internet since the parents of the five-year-old have been introduced to millions of viewers on the Dr. Phil show. Now, part two of the two-part segment aired late this afternoon. News Channel 11's Ansley Daniel has been leading our coverage since Summer's disappearance in June, and she reports on one of the biggest takeaways from the Dr. Phil show. Josh and Sarah, we took a look at the Google trends in the past day for Cornbread Mafia. As you can see behind me here, plenty of hits followed. The related topics kept getting closer to Summer's home, Hawkins County, kidnapping, Phil McGraw, Rogersville, and Summer. You have to actually look at what is organized crime. There are distinct factors starting with the existence of a chain of command and a means of moving money. You usually see money flowing from the bottom to the top. You usually see some type of identifier via tattoos, the type clothes that individuals are wearing, colors, stuff of that nature. That's not what you get out of this 80s era organization who got their start moving marijuana, not children. At this point, it's more of, of legend and folklore versus actual possible reality. Candace Bly's reaction was unmistakable, but the cause of her stress could be misunderstood. You know, we don't know what the triggering effect is. It could have just triggered her uh, for something else and not necessarily their involvement with or possible involvement with her abduction or disappearance. Dr. Phil used specific words when he told Don and Candace what he thought of their involvement. My understanding is Dr. Phil says it to, to the family and he makes it specific and he says in her murder and then the covering or removal of the body. He doesn't say anything else about trafficking or anything of that nature. So I found that kind of unique that he worded it in that way. Dr. Phil's words and the parents' reactions are certainly taking center stage in the two days of episodes. To me as, as a, a former investigator, it doesn't say a lot to me that the way they're acting, the way they do, what I'm going to look at more is the statements that they're making, their body language, and how they present themselves. That's what I'm going to look more at versus the number of times they get before a camera. But the organization may well exist, says our expert, but no structure exists to pull off Summer's disappearance. So I think it's more of a code of silence versus an actual organized operation. Stanton says he trusts the agencies leading the investigation into what happened to Summer Wells. He told me today that he believes this case will be solved and it's just a matter of when. Ansley, thanks. You can see all of our coverage on the search for Summer Wells right now on WJHL.com underneath the News tab.